Here we see a Roman bishop in 360A or 430 years ago dedicating a new church by writing an X in sand and writing the letters of the alphabet in Greek and Latin on the bars so that they look like this. And here's a modern day version of the same thing where a bishop is repeating the same process of writing letters in the sand. Which we see here. We also know that the same X is found in the name of Heliopolis and Hermopolis. And it's also the letter of Chai, value 624th letter. And here's another example. Greek letters, alpha to omega, and then Latin letters, A to Z. And here's what they look like in stone in Egypt. It's called the glyph 049 in Gardner symbols. And we also know, according to the table of ancient Egyptian units of measurement, that the x is equal to 25 square cubits. So if we go to our cubit ruler, we see the x is at the 24th unit. So one of the questions of this video is where exactly does the are the alphabets birthed? At the cosmos, does it start here at the 24th letter, 25th letter? Does it start at A, first letter, or among other possibilities? So what we also note is that Young, when he was decoding the hieroglyphs, said that both Sacy, Akerblad, and the Greek authors, Plato and Plutarch, all talked about how Egypt had a 25 letter alphabet. And then we also know that Plutarch famously said that the upright in his Isis and Osiris section 56a5 said that letter G is the upright or the male erect, the female is the base that is the B, the base of the triangle. In other words, there's letter B, and there's the, the four Y shoe pillars. They're moved down when she comes down to have sex with the Jeb. That becomes the base or four or letter D. And then the, the hypotenuse is the children. So that's the five epagomenal children. So you get g squared plus d squared equals e squared, d squared is 25. So the question is where do these, or we see the f five apagomental children are e through z at the bottom, and that corresponds to Jeb having sex with Bet, and then the four children are birthed out at the d. So we have the one, two, three, four, five, five apagomental children here. Or Osiris, Isis, Set, Nephthys, Horus, and then probably Horus the Elder, depending on which version we looked at. So the question is, if we start counting, we could say that the cosmos births the letter here, and then the 25 letters come out over here. So this is one possibility, at the psi letter. Or we could count, say that the cosmos, Tom makes the fire, the egg of the phoenix here, he lights it, and then it's birthed, or hatched at the X. And so we count over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25.
So now we're at letter T as the possible location of the birth of the, or the start of the creation of the letters themselves. And this aligns with the fact that we've already done type as a cipher for this, which means the shape of the letters. For example, the type of Y is this shape with two forks at the top, which is kind of like an Egyptian crutch. So if we go, one point that corroborates with this, if we go to letter T or the 300 value stanza of Leiden I350. So if we go over here and we click on links, go down to Leiden I350, it'll take us to this page. Then we go down to the 300 stanza and we see that stanza 300, letter 21, T, letter 21, and this is dated 3200A or minus 1245. We see that the only place Thoth is mentioned out of all those 28 stanzas is the 300 or letter T stanza where it says that Thoth lays things down by letter. So the letters are created at 300. This matches with chai being equal to 25 square cubits. So this is a one cubit, but squared equals one square cubit. And we counted out 25 and we're at letter T. So this is one possibility.